Hello students, Ms. Swanson here, and today we're taking a look at plant tissues. Now I chose this picture here because it actually shows three of the four main tissues and how they look slightly different in different areas of the plant. So you can see there's dermal tissue, ground tissue, and vascular tissue, and in the root, the stem, and the leaf, they have slightly different organizations. Now we're not going to talk too much about the organization, but we are going to talk about what each of those different types of tissues are and why they're important. So let's take a look at our learning goals. You should be able to list and describe each of the four types of tissues in plants. So let's look at those four types of tissues. There's dermal tissue, vascular tissue, meristematic tissue, and ground tissue. So those are the four we're going to look at. Meristematic tissue sometimes isn't included in the four types of tissue. Sometimes it's just considered a type of cell. Um, that's why many of these pictures don't include it, but it is a type of tissue that we'll be talking about in our class. So let's start off with the dermal tissue. These are all the tissues that are covering the outside of the plant, and that would include the epidermis, which is the main part covering the outside of the plant, and root hairs, which stick out from the, uh, from the roots. And we'll talk uh, later on when we talk about root systems, we'll talk about the epidermis and the root hairs and why they're important. So the dermal tissue is kind of like the skin on a human, protects the, uh, or protects the body by uh, covering the outside. The next one is vascular tissue, and this transports materials throughout the plant. And this is sort of like the circulatory system in a human. So we have blood that transports um, you know, carbon dioxide and sugars and so on uh, throughout our body. The same thing happens in plants, only they use vascular tissue. Uh, there are two types. There's the xylem, and that transports water and dissolved minerals, and that transports from the soil up to all the different parts of the plant. And then there's the phloem, and that transports sugar from all the leaves where the sugar is created to all the other cells in the plant. So let's take a look at that picture, our xylem and phloem. You can see in the root cell, we would, create, or we would get water from the ground and also dissolved minerals in that water. So we would get that uh, water and minerals and then it brings it up to the, in this picture it shows leaf cells, but all the different cells in the plant. And then in the leaves, because of photosynthesis, sugar is created. And so the sugar is then dissolved in the water, and sugar and water come back down throughout the plant. In this case, they show down to the root cells, but also all the other cells in the plant to give them the sugar they need to survive. The next type of tissue is meristematic tissue, and these are undifferentiated plant cells, and they can divide and differentiate to form specialized cells. And these are very similar to human stem cells. So if you can't remember the words specialized, differentiate, or undifferentiated, go back and watch the video on stem cells to remind yourself of what all these things mean. And then finally, there's the ground tissue. And this is all plant tissue other than the vascular, dermal, or meristematic tissue. It's all other types of tissue. And this is important because it's the site of photosynthesis. So let's take another look at our learning goals. You should be able to list and describe each of the four types of tissues in plants. If you can do that, fantastic. If not, please re-watch the video. And if you're still having trouble, come ask me in class tomorrow. Alright, that's all for now. Bye-bye!